Liberty wins over North Carolina A&T 65-52 in the Vine Center on Monday night. Alongside Paul Nazigan, I'm Alan York. Flames on to round two. And it took a round two second half, if you will, for the Flames offense. And for that part, both teams' offenses to kind of turn things around. But Liberty at one point, 11 of 15 from the field in the second half, kind of opened up the ball game. An impressive win to move on to round two. Yeah, a little slow start offensively, as maybe could be expected, you know, a week off and, and getting some of the – working out some of the rust. But um, the, the defense was there right from the tip and really locked down uh, A and T. And, you know, until the shots started to fall in the second half, you know, and then it was, you know, kind of off to the races. But uh, defensively, you got to love that um, even with the week off, they didn't lose a step defensively. They really locked down A and T's uh, – Top sh shooters, top scorers in in uh, Elujabi and McGowan uh, hold those guys both to single digits and just really put on a good performance. Before we get to some post game comments, Paul, the story of the ball game was the absence of Lavelle Cabell, Ryan Kim, right? Two starters for Liberty did not play. Nursing some small injuries. Keegan McDowell came up with huge 15 points off the bench. Caleb Holmesley had 16. Uh, so some guys that uh, maybe not get the minutes that a Cabell or a Kim Wright do came up with some big performances. Yeah, they sure did. And, and, again, those guys were maybe limited in their minutes during the year, but certainly ready anytime their number's called. And so, you know, you heard we talked to Keegan afterwards, and he said, you know, it's always just sort of been a next man up. Uh, they knew they would have more minutes. And so, man, he just looks un unflappable. He just j doesn't change his expression. He has 14 tonight. And, you know, you and I both said we just really like seeing how Holmesley just really more asserting himself offensively. That's going to be huge going forward. So nice to see the other guys step up and, and so solidify the win. Hey, can't forget Scotty James again, 11th double-double, third straight for the Tarpon Springs Florida sophomore as Liberty wins by 13 over a and We talked to Coach McKay and some of the players after the ball game. First half, we looked sluggish. Um, this group has too much character not to, uh, to play hard and be happy to be here. We just looked like we, we had about eight days off, and we only had five and a half. Uh, but I think it's hard for a team to get its rhythm, especially you know Ryan Kimwright and Lavelle Cow will lead us in minutes play. So without those two guys, I was very concerned. I'm not going to joke about it. <laughs> I thought, man, great, we get to postseason, and two of our best players are out. But really proud of the guys off the bench that thought they did a great job, especially Keegan and uh, Isaiah. And, uh, we found a way to win. Well, anytime you play in the postseason, it's a privilege, and I think that we all think that, and I think that we might have lost like we did, but I thought that tonight we came out and showed some fight. Yeah, when we lost um, at Radford a couple weeks ago, um, the NCAA tournament, that's our main goal, but, um, I mean, more basketball is more basketball, and uh, we want to try to win in advance as much as we can in this tournament, so just try to keep playing. So now the waiting game again. Liberty moves to 21-14 and 14 on the year. We don't know when or where Liberty will play its second-round CIT game, but as we mentioned, Cam Wright, Cabell nursing some small injuries, hopefully get them back in the fold and uh, some time away uh, as Liberty gets ready for round two. Yeah, get healthy, uh, get rested, um, get another chance to just continue to work on things, not just for your next game, but, again, for this program. These young guys, the majority of the team coming back, so – Every chance they get to practice, get more reps on the offensive end, continue to hone that defense, has dividends beyond that next game. Liberty wins by 13 over the Aggies of North Carolina A&T, moving on to the second round of the postseason CIT. For Paul Nazigan, I'm Alan York for LibertyFlames.com.